Hello and welcome back to Hidurashi Minodoroshi Chapter 4. It's a good day. Got me some eggnog. Aiden, it's November. Why are you drinking eggnog? It's a great point. It's on the shelf though, so I picked it up. <laughs> a little early to be festive, but it's a good drink. Um, Almost close to December though. Hitting last month of the year is that exciting well don't think 2021 is gonna be much better <laughs> than 2020 maybe a bit better but majority of it won't be better in my opinion but we'll see we'll see last episode we got some theory crafting with um rita and uh hanyu mainly rita Lots of new tech, um, information about Irie and Takano, and it also confirmed Tomotaki working with Takano. You might be like, no, oh, that was obvious, but I was always, I always had like a, like one of my ideas was Tomotaki and Takano actually aren't working together. They're like, they have like a mutual Thing going on. Like, Takano's doing her own thing with Tomotaki's, like, uh, an undercover reporter or something. It's actually researching the mysterious deaths, but from the way they talked, it did sound like, um, Tomotaki does indeed work with, uh, Ire and Takano. Which is good. It also kind of lowers the percent of Takano killing Ire, but not really. Just a bit, I feel. But it's something to think about. So this disease thing is obviously something big. It has to be something. Not just something mental at this point. Because Rita claims that she has a bomb in her. And I don't know if that's like figurative or is that the actual gas bomb. I mean, as silly as it sounds... <laughs> feel like the gas bomb is uh, more likely and so I don't obviously it's not something real but I don't know um it's a confusing thing and it's been suggested to me like at this point maybe um maybe the major idea is more um valuable and I mean sure if we're going down this route but you can't say that for sure I think it also is interesting um, when you look back at Rena's conversation with Takano. Um, and then Takano gave Rena her books. But Takano already probably knows what Rena's going through. It's it's a weird one. You could, have, you could say that she gave her those specific books because they contain a hint. But like at the same time, I don't... It could easily be more of a malicious thing. And Rita did claim that Takano has been making theories based on... Um, she makes her idea theories based on how Rita is special. Which doesn't really change the... The, <laughs> the theories, it more just changes her motivation for making the theories. Kind of, but I guess this is just Rita's assumption, so... We got a lot of ground about some lore and backstory, but we actually haven't made any uh, real ground, I think. Except for the fact that I... I don't know, you can't really clear Eerie or Takano, huh? I was gonna say I want to clear Eerie a bit, but, like... Just because we know that this doesn't actually change the dynamics of and possibilities of the murder, so... Yeah, we're, you know, feed me more information. I'm, I'm all ears, but let's just continue and see uh, what chapter four has for us. Is chapter three was a doozy, not just in content, but in length. Where are we starting? Rita, Keiichi. Rita did say she wants to uh, talk to Tatno Ire and Tomotaki, I think. We're in the clinic. Yeah, Rika-chan is 
We are, we are in the Rita POV. Honestly, I thought we were Keiichi. <laughs> Just because of the song. It's like my natural reaction, but... Interesting. I almost got baited again. I thought they mentioned Risa before. I thought I thought that was Rina again. I was like, <gasps> we caught it, but like obviously Rita would have noticed something with that, so I'm tripping. Yeah, Oh, Tomotaki's Risa. Oh, shit. Really? Shit, I don't remember the context Risa was before. If that is Tomotaki. <laughs> Fuck. Because we definitely heard the name Risa. And then I just assumed it was an eerie, like, you know, I thought it was Rina, but it wasn't. So I just thought it was one of Eerie's people, but I think that's actually Tomotaki. I mean, I'm sure it is now if Takano is hanging out with him. I think it, I think it wasn't important. I think Eerie just got a call and something. Damn, I forgot. <laughs> Yo. Risa. It's a good bait. Definitely doesn't sound uh, male. I don't doubt it. That's what nicknames are all about, though. So, yeah, it's Tomotaki. But we don't know his real name, so it's still kind of weird. ありがとうなのです。でも直接言いますのでいいのですよ。Maybe I was low-key right about my clinic theory. <laughs> I just realized that now this now they again they're probably not the culprits now, but like I I thought like in every in on a total sheet it's a Tortoroshi at some point Keiichi went into the clinic and got some sort of shot. And on a she is really low-key so you didn't notice, but it definitely happened. I mean, Tatora Doroshi's was obvious, but that always happened. I was wondering if... So, I don't know, it could be now. That's... I guess I didn't even comment on how, uh, how that went, huh? You see, it's not... My, my idea was Clint as mastermind, and obviously that's not the case, but I guess that's... It's, it's not a bullseye, it's like a... Actually, I don't know how the bullseye... How dark scoring works, but it's like, well, most of my shots are, don't even hit the board. This one's hitting like the outer rims, okay? Outer rims, I guess. Kyoto. <笑>準備がなってないと怒られてしまいますね。それに加えて野球までやっているのですから、つくづく入江は元気だなと思いますです。本当に忙しいですよ。家事や師匠代行してくれる可愛いメイドさんを常時募集中なのですが、なかなか
Huh. I only thought he came in summer, but I guess he comes out at the start of all seasons. He smiled mischievously and watched his hand, waved his hand goodbye. See ya, Eerie. We'll get to you later. I headed back to the shrine. I was going to park my bike by the stairs that led to the shrine guard grounds. A little trippy today, huh? I'm not, I mean, I don't know why. It's actually pretty early. <laughs> so Toko and I are the only people who park our bites there normally, but I saw more than 10 bites there today. People must be gathering at the convention room. There are more and more meetings when the Watanadashi festival draws closer. Seeing all these bites reminded me that summer is nearly here. Most of the bites were old and beat up, however I saw two unfamiliar ones part there. They were sporty mountain bites with the same design but different colors. <laughs> right, they even have matching bites, huh? It's cute. They must belong to Tatano and Tomotaki. I went up the stairs to look for two of them, but I couldn't find either. Was there any place with a great view for taking pictures? I tried looking into places like that, but I still couldn't find them. So I started looking based on what Tatano might be interested in. I could only think of one place, what, the ritual storehouse? Good one, Tatano. Because they're trying, because they're trying to break out, break in this, uh, break in this Watanadashi. True. I'm pretty, so yeah, I mean, I don't know how, last time I said this, but even though you only see them breaking in in Mayatashi and, uh, Watanadashi, they, it's pretty, I'm pretty sure they break in every year. Doesn't really make sense otherwise. Mm. That's a normal tomataki. Lost the muscle. The only thing is... I wonder why they're breaking in. Like, why is Takano breaking into the storehouse? It doesn't really make sense to sh if she's part of a bigger organization. I mean, I guess maybe it's just for hobby and stuff, but it kind of feels weird now. <laughs> you opened the lock to my heart. Jesus. That's a sweet line. You should use that if someone's pit locking something for you. I know it's a rare occasion, but that's a... That's a dinger, dude. Hits straight to the heart. <laughs> Did one talk to know? She he he's. Add you to the he he character. He he list, I mean. Jesus. <laughs> Can we get a replay on that? That's a rare spooky Rita. The two of them jumped in surprise as I suddenly appeared in front of them. <laughs> Yo. This is actually good for Rita. This is definitely something she should try to do. Keep these people from, both of them from opening the storage lot. I mean, naturally, also keep Keiichi and Shion away, but I think that's practically taken care of, but... You know, we don't know the situation about their deaths, but keeping them away from the storage house, which they do every arc, might, uh, might cause a dent into that, uh, fate, you know? <laughs> Tomataki conceded right away, but Hatano was stubborn. She made up excuses to try and fool me. Based on my previous lives, I knew just how much interest she had in the storehouse. It was actually rather impressive how hard she tried to cover that up. The ritual storehouse is full of the remind remainder of the dark history of Ani Gafuchi. 
It contains bloody and vicious tools that Tatano is fascinated with. She should have a good idea as to what those things are inside of the storehouse based on what she had been researching. She was making up some story about cultural treasures and such, but it was obvious that she was just making excuses. Tomotaki also seemed impressed, listening to Tatano's phony justifications. In the past, I've tried to conceal what was inside the storehouse from Tatano because I don't want her spreading information about the holy and brutal traditions they used to have in Anidofuchi village. It would be a disgrace. As a member of the Furude family, I can't let that happen. Looking at the history of Anidofuchi in the way Tatano does is a painful thing for Hanyu as well. For Hanyu, the ritual storehouse is a special place. I don't know what's so nice about being surrounded by those scary ritual tools, but she feels cozy when she's surrounded by the smell of old times. This storage is like Hanyu's hideout. When I can't see her, she's usually relaxing in here. I don't want Hanyu's happy place to be turned into a bloody, horrifying den of evil Tatano. Of evil, Tatano believes it to be. <laughs> horrifying den of evil Tatanos. It's not a good place to be. That's why I've been keeping Tatano away from the ritual storehouse. Time to think of it, why am I so mean to her? Is it because I hate her? I should stop feeling that way. I have to keep in close contact with Tomotaki and Tatano. I won't give up just because it didn't work before. I'm going to try one more time. This world is different from the other ones. I might be able to change their fate, which in turn might change my own. That'll definitely keep them away for uh for the watch Nagashi. That's actually a that's a bit brain strat I didn't think of. Honey oh. made an irritated face. Tatano will lose herself in ecstasy if she sees what's inside of there. She'll run around spreading rumors of the bloody history of Anita Fuchi. Hanyu wasn't too excited about that prospect. Hmm. <laughs> I understand that Hani doesn't want her inside this holy place. But she can't do anything more than be irritated about it. I'm the only one who can make the ultimate decision. Besides, she'll forgive me if I promise to eat something sweet later. Takano? <laughs> Surprise Tatano face. <laughs> Wait, I just real sorry, I just realized the for the Rita thing, what she when she talked about her being a gas bomb or a bomb. It, d it can't mean the last bomb, right? Because she does die in Watanadashi and Maitashi, but it uh it doesn't like destroy the village. And then you're like, hey, then you need to kill in this in a specific way. But then Iri is like, oh, but like, but Iri and his his men always keep watching me just in case I accidentally die or hit my head on something. So I don't know. It's a little weird. I don't think it's literally means the gas bomb then, I think. Saigudenってここよ。この建物の中なのよ。別にごまかす気はありませんですよ。ちゃんとこの中に入れてあげますです。ミパー。ほう。<笑> 
What was that? Nipa. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Look at that emoticon. She's so happy she emoticoned in her speech line. Nipa. <laughs> I had never seen such a bitch smile on her face before. Now this is a miracle. I'm seeing this face for the first time in a hundred years. Tomotaki must be feeling the same way. His image of Tatana was slowly falling apart as we spoke. I'm sure. No, maybe you just found a new side of her to love instead. <laughs> Yeah, gotta throw a nipa, a friendly nipa around sometimes. When they nipa you back, you know they're real homies. <laughs> Is Tatano cleared? I don't know, I haven't heard a wishy nipa. Seems a little sus. We remained there and watched Tatano spinning in delight for a while. By the time I came back with the key, Takano was totally calm again. She was obviously trying to hide how gleeful she was, though. I thought she was a mature lady, but she might still be a kid at heart. I think they told that. I think they told that something like Gap Moe. I've never heard the term, but I assume you're. when you're Moe as an adult. Or like she just said, kid at heart. <laughs> I guess that's what they mean. <laughs> that makes more sense. I don't know, whenever I think of Moe, I think of. Sendoku Rance's Moe, what the Hani was. You know what I'm saying if you played the game. Which is not this. <laughs> I used to, I picked that term up at some point from Keichi, but I'm still not sure how it's used. Okay, so I don't know. I think you're using it wrong. <laughs><笑> I like this. This is a cute, happy Takano. It's very rare. I think this is actually finally going to be the f arc where we get more Tomotaki and Takano development. I've been asking that since, uh, since Watanadashi. And it made sense they're giving it, um, at the end, because they probably would have given way too many hints, but I'm glad we're finally getting it. I mean, she's just happy. Everyone has the happy side. <laughs> Mike it. Any Takano stock collectors? Honestly, my Takano stocks are slightly going up, and I, I predict Tomotaki and Takano stocks are gonna go up this arc. It's a good time to be Takano. Just saying. Rena said it before. It's not a good idea to think about problems all on your own. I always hated the crazy part of Tatano, and I didn't want to be closer to her. But I never thought she could act this way. She was acting almost like Rena does when in her cute mode. I think that might be a little too much, but she's definitely giddy. Had I known that she was a funny, a person, had I known that she was as funny a person as this, I wouldn't have felt resentment towards her. I realize how important communicating can be. 
It's a fair rule. Takano put her hand to her chest. Hands. She was the first Tomotaki to do the same. It's funny to watch Tomotaki trying to keep up with Takano too. You mean... I already forgot Risa? We're not called Tomotaki... No, it's so weird. I can't do it. <laughs> Calling Tomotaki Risa. もちろん分かってるわ。それで撮影は可能なの it's a lot of yen, but actually it's like 120 Canadian. <sighs> Have I mastered the conversion weight? I know it's not one to one now. It's like always... Feels like it's been on the rise, but I don't know. It's 124 and 40 cents. Dude, my instincts are... Are growing. It's probably because we keep, uh, we've doodled converting yen to Canadian a lot throughout this channel's history. So it's always like 1.2 and a bit. The more you know, Canadian dollar kind of sucks, as per usual. Poor Jiro. No, gotta do it. Considered a Christmas gift. Or a, a summer gift. They paid me the money for real. Honey seemed excited knowing that the money could be used for buying desserts. Yay. It's a rare Awu with a star. <laughs> I finally got approval from Oyashiro Sama, the master of the storehouse. We'd have no more problems now. The ritual storehouse is behind the building with the convention room. Sometimes people come out of out for a cigarette break. I can't let anybody see us entering. <laughs> Tomotaki checked out the scene and gave me the signal to go ahead. I nodded at him and unlocked the door. I pushed open the heavy door just far enough for us to sneak inside. Ooh, we've never seen Tomotaki in the storehouse. That's rare. He seemed surprised that I was asking him to come inside with us. Tomotaki, of course, wasn't particularly interested in what was inside the storehouse. I expected a surprise reaction. I wonder why Takano calls him Jiro. Does she not know his true name? Because again, he's using a fake name. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure this will be addressed this chapter, but... Well, maybe it's not Jiro Tomotaki, maybe it's Jiro something else. Could be true. Tomotaki squeezed inside as Takano urged him. I turned the light on and closed the door. Then I put the chain on from inside. It's <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> so, 
I'm joking, I want to see it. I don't know if they will. This French store house has two doors so the people can see inside when the first door is open. At that moment, we're inside the en entry chamber. The real store house is in the room beyond. Tomotaki. <laughs> it's good for you, brother. Rika-chan is so scary. いくらなんでもそんなの。え。それが試練ならやるわ。What <laughs> まやしで顔を洗いながら。ごしょじんさま大好きだにゃー。だって言ってみせる。ああ、<笑> せかいきょうこうのとき、ウォール街で紙切れになったかぶけんが、雪のようにまったというじゃないすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすすす
These authentic tools always have a big impact on the people who see them. But Tomotaki was the only one who was shot since he was the only normal person in the room. Takano's eyes were sparkling. She was taking pictures while meowing like a cat. Say it. Oh, no meows, huh? This place isn't special to me. Of course I'm no I know I'm supposed to treat it like a holy place treat it as a holy place, but I'm so used to seeing all of these things after coming here countless times since I was a little. To me it's nothing but a storehouse with a lot of old stuff inside. As for Hanyu, she says it's the only place f the air from times past lingers in this present day, so she's actually finds it comforting. I get in a good mood when I come here because Hanyu gets in a good mood. This is a relaxing place for her. As I watch Tomotaki's reaction, I notice how totally off my values are from normal people's. Takano's reaction seemed more natural to me, in a sense. Hanyu seemed to be bothered by Tom Tomotaki's reaction too. Maybe it was a bad idea to let him come inside after all. Not like I could kick him out at this point. Hanyu and I sat on a cushion in front of the altar and watched Hatno dance while childishly, with childishly while Tomotaki made touching efforts to keep up. ごもんというのは相手を屈服させるのが目的じゃないのかい。こんなにいくつも帯正しい数や種類が通して必要だったんだろう。もう一つは使用するぞ。脱線バイフィア。脱線バイフィア。脱線バイフィア。脱線バイフィア。脱線バイフィア。脱線バイフィア。脱線バイフィア。脱線バイフィア。脱線バイフィア。脱線バイフィ
実際に使用することもあったんだろう<笑>やっぱり穏便な話じゃないね対立を守らないと親代様のたたりがあるだけではおとなしくルールに従ってくれない人たちもたまにはいたということなのですねえエリカちゃんではこれらの道具は基本的に村人を威圧するために用意されているのかしら本当の意味での渡流しの時食人の宴に使った調理解体道具だっていう説があるんだけど Hanyu, Hanyu was making a frustrated face. She didn't want to remember the dark history of Anida Fuji village. People performed countless torture ceremonies in front of her, claiming that they were doing it in her name, the name of Yasho Sama. She asked them not to do that, but no one was able to hear or see her. No comment on that, Nipa. Takano san, you can't get a comment on that. 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 ふもとの人々に対する何かの見せしめなのかい私はそこはおそらく食物連鎖で人間よりも優位にあることを自覚するためにやった一種の儀式だと思っているわ鬼ヶ淵村が外部との交流を禁ずる最大の建前が自分たちは千人で村は聖地汚らしい人間と交流すると汚れを持ち込むそうだから定期的に自分たちは人間以上の存在であることを自覚し直す必要があったんじゃないかしら日本にもさらし首があったしね見せしめは非人道的ではあるけど抑止効果は極めて大だったというわけだ Heads on spikes. Misesime no Gisei Shana, Hidoi Hoho de Gomon Sarete, Zetsme Sri. So Nano Misses Kerareta Zetani Zibuwa Asareta Knai, Daremonga Omova Yone. Nihon Niva Sarashkubi Dake de Naku, Haritske. I do know that. I remember watching a When I was young, a drama. I forgot what it's called. Damn, I don't remember. I know it was one of my dad's favorite. With lots of crucifixion in Japan. Jiro-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san-san
もうそんな一瞬の死じゃ見せ物にならないからな誰も個人の死に感情を抱かない監修は一人の死を見てるんじゃなくて何十人もの貴族が長ネギをスライサーで削っていくみたいに手際よくちょんちょんちょんと跳ねていくちょんちょんちょんちょんちょんの連続性をショートしてくれる I like her saying slice, the slicing sound. It's pleasant to the ears. So, any clever, Hitori no Ninga, or Jig, Kuri, Ijime, Korosa, Hoya. It's one way to look at it. Stayed to a Omoana. So, no, 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 Hakuno raises her hand in honor to honor the statue of Oyashiro Sama. Oyashiro Sama to you, Sonzai, a kekyuk, Ningenga umidashta, Guzo nano. Sono Guzo, a Kyofu de Matsuri Angerare Koto de Shinse Kashta. So Hitonga Hosokuya Kaidit de Ishigaki o Kumiage, Noroya Tatari, Kiseki a Kyofu no Shikui de. それを固めるそれらを積み上げて積み上げて雲の上にまで届く高みを作りその上に建てられるのが神という存在なの神は人が欲するゆえに人が生んだ人の手による存在つまり人が人を恐怖で支配しようと思った時に生まれる。I just realized maybe the. Sorry, maybe the jumping in Mayatashi and watching Adashi was just Hani getting pissed at what Takana was telling Keichi and Shion. I feel like it might just happen now. Her passionate lecture was interrupted by a loud noise. As I looked back, Honey was jumping up and down with her eyes full of tears. Thud. 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 She was stomping the floor as hard as she could, making a loud noise instead of screaming out with her unheard voice. However, it all amounted to the same thing. Hanyu cannot be heard by people. Just the money wasn't enough, huh? Been a while since we heard this song too. Was it a bad idea for me to bring Tatano in here? I knew that Tatano would get overstimulated and say something like this. Fortunately, Hanyu's rejection indirectly reached Tatano as she stopped lecturing. Somehow, Tomotaki had heard the noise that Hanyu made. He pressed his finger in front of his lips and told Tatano to be quiet. Nanimoto Nano? Hm. Saki, 
子供が遊んでいるのかもしれないそう私には何の気配も感じないけれどいや<笑>確かに聞こえたよ高野さんここへはお忍びで入れてもらってるんだリカちゃんの立場にも配慮してもう少し静かに見学しないと悪いよ Tatano seemed disappointed, but Tomatati was right. She had no choice but to be quiet. Tomitake, Mawari ni Kodomonante, you must end this year. So, Kai? Rika chan you are Kikoena Katakai? Okua Tashkani, Tobi Hanerion out of Kitanda Katana. Machiron, Bokumo Kikimasta this year. Toku de Wanaku. 僕のすぐ後ろでドタンドタン跳ねていましたです。富武には遠くに聞こえたでしょうが、僕にはすぐ後ろだったのでうるさいくらいでしたですよ。<笑> I was standing in front of the altar and the statue of a Yashu Sama was right behind me. Tomatachi seemed freaked out after hearing what I just told him. Although he was trying to fake his smile, his face was turning pale. However, Takano didn't seem scared at all. Takano? サイグデンの中でお社様を怒らせるようなことを言うのは禁止なのです。お社様がとても怒っていますのです。その声が聞こえませんか ?It's first fortunate that she can't, to be honest.Even if she heard it, it would be nothing but tears.My job as a shrine maiden to begin with is to tell humans what our Yashiro Sama is feeling. I'm responsible for speaking on Hanyu's behalf. Tatano must have realized that I was very serious about what I just said. She apologized to me right away. g o m e n a s a i s a s a k a c h o s h i n i n o r i s i t a w a o y a s h i r o s a m a m o g o m e n a s a i k i t o g a a g a m e r e b a s o r e w a k a m i t a t o e w a t a s h i g a a g a m e n a k t e m o s h i n s e w a o k a s a r e n a i 面白半分に冒涜したことを謝るわお社様は甘いものが大好きなのです僕を経由してお供えしないとたたりがありますですよトモタティ couldn't help but smile タトナ also smiled she bowed to me promising to bring over some cream puffs soon I like it cream puffs are always nice タトナ finally stopped saying bad things about お社様 She almost promised to bring me something sweet. Hani was still upset, but she, prob she was probably satisfied for the moment. But I didn't know what she meant by three fingers as she. as. the. 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 But I didn't know what she meant by the three fingers she was showing me. Was she telling me to ask Tatano for that too? Bring. Being her shrine maiden is not an easy thing. What else? <laughs> Three cream puffs. Oh, uh, good one. <laughs> Three. <laughs> They took it as a joke I made to reduce the tension. Tomatati and Tatano cracked up holding their stomachs. Hanyu was looking at them with surprise, not knowing why they were laughing. My face, meanwhile, was turning red with embarrassment. どうしても聞いてもらいたい話がありますのです。何かしら。今日は西宮殿に入れてもらえるというわがままを聞いてもらえたんだから、それに見合うわがままには答えるつもりよ。僕が今から話すことを絶対に信じてほしいのです。どうしてとかそんなバカなとかはなしなのです。だから。絶対に信じて、hmm. 運命に打ち勝って、私を助けてほしい。I skipped it! Why am I overestimating the, the speech? Speaking. 
Both of them are surprised to see such a serious look on my face. I was sure they'd be surprised. After all, I was about to explain to them that they were going to die in two days. I'm sure they'd want to deny that, but I knew a fair bit about their deaths. If I could explain it to them in detail, they wouldn't be able to laugh it off. I talked to them about it several times in previous lives, but they never took it seriously. I only had that slight possibility and they might believe me. Hopefully the possibility is as small as a miracle. It should be engraved on the side of a die. My friends overcame their fates and they all rolled a six. Should I call that a miracle? Please God, let me roll a six again. Please let them believe that death is upon them. That's a chapter break, well time too. Wow, that was a fun episode. It explains the jumping, though I probably could have guessed that if I thought about it after being introduced to Han Yu a bit more, but... Good stuff. Some eerie POV or something. But I guess we'll have to see what happens last time. Thanks for watching as always. It was fun and... Saturday. We will finish the chapter, maybe. But thanks for watching and see you guys later. Good night.